Each day in the UK, six teenagers will find out they have cancer. Just like me. Just like me. Just like me. I was one of them. One in 330 boys. And one in 420 girls will find out they have cancer before their 20th birthday. Before they're 20. Before the age of 20. Before the 20. Before the age of 20. Over 2,000 teenagers find out they have cancer every single year. Over 2,000 teenagers. Over 2,000 teenagers. Over 2,000 teenagers. Over 2,000 teenagers every year. My name is Matthew Engel. In 2004, my son Laurie got cancer, rhabdomyosarcoma alveola, a rare and vicious form of cancer in any circumstances, and Laurie was diagnosed late. That happens with young people's cancers. Doctors don't look for it, don't expect it. When someone finally twigged, the doctors and nurses at Birmingham Children's Hospital battled to save him. No one could have done more, they were brilliant. But at that age, when you're growing like crazy, cancer cells grow like crazy too. And in September 2005, he died. He was 13, and our hearts are shattered forever. Laurie loved football, tennis, his mates and larking about. He hated the hospital. It looked and felt like a hospital too. What the Teenage Cancer Trust does is build units that enable sick teenagers to be teenagers as well as just sick. This short film will take you around the existing facilities in Birmingham and give you some idea of what they could be and with your help will be. Hi, my name's Zara, I'm 17 and I've been treated for acute myeloid leukaemia. I was diagnosed at the age of 14. Hi, I'm Shanique, I'm 15 and I've been diagnosed with osteosarcoma, which is a cancer in the leg. When I first came in, I didn't mix a lot and I was with a lot of younger children and there was a lot of screaming and crying. All I wanted was just some time for me to be an adult and not to be a child. It is hard to get privacy while you're here because, and because it's only curtains and there can be so many people in a bay, everybody can hear what you're doing. They can hear the doctors, the nurses speaking to you. You can hear them. And unless you get put in a cubicle if you're more sick than everybody else, then that's the only time you get any of the privacy. If you're being sick, people are still going to hear you. And this, you know, you can still hear what's going on outside. And a lot of the time the nurse will just come in and they'll you know, they don't, they don't, sometimes they just don't think that it could be someone older, they might be getting undressed or something. That it's not what you want to happen, is someone just bursting in on you, really. I think having a teenage ward would make everything a lot easier, just being around people who are the same age. And like, everybody on the ward knows what you're going through, but being able to talk to more like a friend than as a nurse or someone's patient, you can just talk to them like you would talk to your friends normally. I think the actual medical facility is absolutely amazing and there's absolutely nothing wrong, but the facilities for teenagers are very minimal at the moment. There's loads for the younger children to do, but there just doesn't seem anything for much older children, because as I was being treated, I was getting on to 15, 16, and I was just so bored just doing absolutely nothing. Having a TCT unit here in Birmingham obviously will make a difference to the patients but it will make a huge difference to the staff. The staff have seen these units around the country, seen the difference it makes to the quality of life to the teenagers. You can't put a price on that. This is part of the new Teenage Cancer Trust unit in London, which is actually not very hospital-like really. These really nice coloured boxes on the wall just make it a little bit more welcoming a little bit more, I don't know, homely, not really like a hospital. 
which let's face it, are pretty scary at the best of times. These units really are vital. Six teenagers get diagnosed with cancer every single day. And those numbers aren't going down, they're only going to go up. It's not just about the PlayStations and the plasma screen TVs, it's the whole package, the staff, the layout of the units, and meeting people of your own age, having people of your own age to talk to when you're going through this horrible time in, in, in your life. And be able to build friendships, some of them last, some of them don't unfortunately. But overall, there is not a better place you could be treated. It's great Teenage Cancer Trust has been, has been able to open this unit in London. But there's only seven units. We need at least 15 more. These units aren't cheap, but the difference they make is worth every penny. They are vital to teenagers with cancer. They're vital to people like me who've had cancer and people like, who are going to have cancer in the future. After seeing the TCT unit in UCH London, I just I was blown away. To be honest, and I I knew it was going to be good. But that was just amazing, that was amazing, it really was. Yeah, it was something that you needed really, uh, here, actually. The statistic that the survival rate is like 15% more people, I, I, I can believe it. After seeing, just it, after after seeing, seeing that, it. I can just be believe everything. How it was, it just wasn't, it just wasn't hospital, it just felt, I would have just felt like I was just going into a room at my house and sitting, and I could have took my, sis my two sisters in there, we would have just relaxed played games, I just wouldn't have felt like they'd come to visit me. I just thought that it would just be like you normal, that we could have just sat and just done norm normal things. It's, it was it's, oh, just unbelievable. For me, Teenage Cancer Trust was almost as important as the drugs I was given for my cancer. If it wasn't for the units I was treated in, I really don't believe I'd be here today. It never really bothered us having cancer, but that was because of my surroundings and the people I met. So anything you can do to support the charity in the future, please carry on doing so. TCT is so great because it turns strangers into families and it changes lives. It's as simple as that, really. All the money raised by the Laurie Engel Fund will go towards providing a new unit in Birmingham like this one. The plan is for an exciting and innovative new building and it's reached an advanced stage. We've already raised an amount that staggered us but the unit's probably going to cost about two million pounds so please help us. It would make Laurie proud, it will make us proud and it will do the kids proud. Today's patience and tomorrow's.